Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm Dr. Daryl Wolf, and uh, as you can tell, it's a beautiful day in Calgary, uh, Alberta. I'm just north, actually, of Calgary, Alberta, in a town called Airdrie. And um, today's our day off. I have four more days of the Whole Life Coach certification that I'll be teaching. And then we'll be having our party and uh, we'll be doing a dance party axe throwing, believe it or not. We try to do something different every time at, at the end of a party. We like to give a party for all of those Braveheart warriors who have decided to crack the coconut, let's say. Understand something. How does it feel not to be yourself and understand something? You're going to say, well, Dr. Wolf, Daryl, whatever. I am myself and I'm going to go, no, you're not. I'm still working on be to become myself because I know that my potential is unlimited. So let me put it to you this way. Are you a closed, okay, or open energy system? Okay, understand this. If You're not going to believe this, but I can prove it if you come to my course. That if you have any type of uh, uh, negative symptoms that are chronic, okay, and uh, that become diseases, which there are no such thing, then you are a closed energy system. And understand something because you're closed up here, okay? The invisible creates the uh, uh, visible, the uh, psychological rules, the biological, and you better get that. And I want you to understand this. I love you all, and only one out of t uh, 1,000 of you will awake, and only one out of 10,000 will become awoken because this is planet Earth, a life-threatening, fun-filled adventure. Understand something. You'll know that you are a closed energy system if you follow the government, if they are your authority, if you actually believe they have any authority. Holy crap. Okay, you're a closed energy system. You're a closed energy system if you use the medical system for your daily care, for your health care. They're not even in health. You're going to go to a doctor who doesn't even have 20 minutes of uh, uh, natural health. Um, uh, how do I detoxify, uh, uh, sir? Uh, well, guess what? It, that doesn't, there's no such thing as detoxification. You, your whole body is made out of detoxification organs. Why would you need to detoxify? Well, my answer to him is this. You're absolutely right. We shouldn't have to detoxify. But the reality is you forgot what planet you lived on where there has been uh, a family Okay, that was that signed their name in blood, far as I'm concerned, 150,000 years ago, and they were handed the keys to what we would call the financial system and how to rule, school, and fool and enslave now 8 billion people. So the reality is, is yes, the doctor's right. The medical doctor says, Dr. Wolf, the doc of detox, is ripping you off, stealing your money. I would be if they would leave us the hell alone if they didn't poison the water, poison the air, if they didn't poison the food, if they didn't poison our minds, that's the worst one. I don't care because I can't do anything about it. If they poison the water, I'm not going to drink it. I'm going to make sure I structure it. I don't care if they poison the air. I'm going to live where they're not doing the spraying as much. I'm going to live on the ocean. Understand that. I don't care because I can't do anything about it if they poison the food. All I can do is talk about it, but I can't stop it. Because this is the human harvest. If you, if you were to go back and look at everything is in cycles. I mean, most of you are psycho because you actually think that the world is heating up. I mean, it's got, you'll believe everything. You know, you believe that, that 8 billion people is too many on the planet. 100 billion people could live on this planet without bumping into each other. If we actually loved each other, we'd care for each other. We'd tend to each other. We'd serve each other. We'd become sister and brother. But no, that's not going to happen because guess what? Whether you believe it or not, okay, 150,000 years ago, we had many different colors of people made, many different religions created, many different languages happening, and, and, and that's why you are a closed energy system. You go and you go, oh, my beliefs are the only beliefs. My beliefs, oh, the church I go to, we're the only ones going to heaven. Oh, really? Really? And guess what? There are like, uh, what, 45 what? hundred prominent religions and then there's another probably hundred thousand of people that are making it up because that's what we do we make up stuff right and so every one of these religions and some of them more than others believe that they're going to they're going to heaven and the rest are going to hell and then there's some of you that have a closed energy system because you believe that if i suffer today i'll have heaven tomorrow like that's going to happen with me let me tell you something right now 
My energy system is open because no government's going to rule me. There's no medical system that's going to rule me. There's no human being that's going to ever rule me on this planet. I will never, ever put anything down or anyone down because this is a big family here, okay? You can have all the different beliefs you want. And as soon as you think your beliefs are right, my beliefs aren't right. The only beliefs I want are beliefs that make me happy and have a wonderful day and beliefs that don't have me jumping into the future, hoping it's going to get better and beliefs uh, are going and calling myself a sinner or a failure because of my past and put me into judgment jail. How's that for closed energy system. It's not going to happen. And then you can say, Dr. Wolf, you're going to go to hell now because you don't believe in what I believe in. Well, that's okay. But, uh, I, but I won't be going. That's just like people go, they'll get theirs. The government will get theirs. This person will get theirs. Nobody's going to get theirs. You're getting yours. When you hate someone, when you have anger for someone, when you have anxiety to the point that you cause your brain to overheat and you go into a depression, okay, because there is no such thing as depression. The computer has to shut down because you're a bloody terrorist, which means you are a closed energy system. All you had to do was unconditionally love yourself. That was it. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else. Can you tell that it's my day off? And uh, these uh, training courses, I put everything into them. You know what I mean? And now I'm just a little bit wacky and I feel kind of loose and fancy free because I am uh, an energy system. And I know that uh, I, we create our own energy. Where everybody has to eat all the time, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. No, you're not. You're bored. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. No, you're not. You're dehydrated. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. No, you're not. You never connect to your breath. You don't even know how to take a good breath. You're not. A, you're a closed energy system. Hey, what about this? What if you were to actually sit down right now and just calm down, put a smile on your face and say, when I was younger, I always wanted to do this and become that. Guess what? What's stopping you? What's stopping you? tell you what's stopping you taking things personal you know what you know for the first while with my belief systems I was kind of offended you know I got government attacking me news stations attacking me a lot of people attacking me and then I'm going Daryl what's wrong with you do you think that you could be a minority in the way that you think and the majority is going to embrace you what kind of fool are you okay I get it I get it I get it so the reality is is then I came to the conclusion because it's always worked like this because I believe in cycles and you can go back 150,000 years if you want you can go back even further and the reality is is this Everything just keeps repeating itself, but I'm not going to repeat myself. See, because I know that I have to change my personality by 1% every day. So that in 100 days, I've got a whole new personality. And when I'm changing it by 1%, all I have to do is bring my vibration up by 1% every day. See, it has to be an open system. And the only way you're going to have an open system is if you have unconditional love for yourself. I don't know what you need to do. Do you need to get angry? yell, scream, get it off your chest, and then just have unconditional love for yourself. And anyone that's attacking you or telling you what to do, you ignore them, put a smile on your face, or maybe just yawn, because it's really quite boring. So the next few months, we're going to go into a, a, a spin, a, sp a spiral spin. For most people, it's down. For me, it's up. COVID really got my game on. It didn't get me angry. It got my game on. Because if you came down here and you said, this is the greatest adventure in my life. And, this, and the only adventure down here, whether you believe it or not, <laughs> it's, not if you, it's, not, it's not for you to struggle. The game down here is just for you to unconditionally love yourself and not participate in all the suffering, you know. This week, uh, two of my adult children had crises and I connected to my breath. I kept a slight smile on because I wanted to be an open energy system. I kept my mouth shut, but I told them what I would do if I was in their situation and then I let them go back to suffering. One of them had a turnaround in 24 hours and the other one is still 
smelling it and asking herself if she can even pull off unconditional love and if she deserves it because she believes that she's such a bad person. I mean, I can tell my daughter that I have unconditional love for her, but she doesn't have it for herself because society has told her that if she did this, this, and this, she's a dirty person, a sinner, a failure, whatever. I don't know. Who knows what goes on in the mind of everybody, but the reality is I'm just going to keep on letting her know that I've never put the hook in her, so I'm not going to let her off the hook. I'm not going to say, I forgive you, sweetheart, because I'm not going to judge my, my beautiful daughter. I'm not going to ever, ever give anybody forgiveness on this planet because I'm never going to judge them. I just want to say here right now, and the only thing I really wanted to say is this, I congratulate you. We are infant spirits in the universe. And we are low vibrational energy systems, if you look at the whole universe. But I think that we're in our infancy. Because anything that, that eats and poops probably isn't the highest vibrational thing in the universe. But I thank God that I exist. And then I tell my creator, okay, that I will shine my light on all my brothers and sisters every day, whether they like me or don't like me. What, no matter what, I will do that. And I understand the game. The game is for you to bring up your personal vibration and keep it there. To mind your own business means that you don't go visit family members that have closed energy. You don't go to watch things that have closed energy. You don't, you ignore the government completely. And the only reason why you participate in the government is because they have a chokehold on you. And most of it's financial. And please, I'm not trying to sell you something. But I'll be coming on here in about, I don't know, maybe in about 10 to 14 days. And I'm going to show you that for less than $10,000, you'll never pay more than 4% tax again in your life. You heard what I said. It's legal. You know, Justin? You know, uh, Biden, you know, all of them, they have to do the same thing that I figured out how to do. Supposedly, there's six people that can pull this off, like in North America. And, and if you could pull it off, you're probably going to spend forty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. And you're not going to get the support you're going to get from us. But I'm creating Braveheart Nation. And you can believe it or not and say, what's he really up to? What's his, what's his scam jam? Hmm. I need you to bring your vibration up and love your life because if you do that, then uh, uh, selfish me uh, is going to feel that energy and it's going to help me rise myself. Just think, the more that we serve each other in a way that we help to bring each other's vibration up, that's God. That's creating. That's the only thing. Unconditional love is the only thing that's going to set you free. Helping someone help with their day. If you haven't got something good to say about yourself, please don't say it. And you might think, well, um, I'm a bad person, but don't. Just, just you, you, when you say bad things to yourself and talk badly to yourself, you are shutting off your energy and you're a liar. You're a liar. And if there's any sin, it's you putting yourself down. You know, you gotta understand something. One person will do something and the other one will do the same thing and they won't even think twice about it, but you'll actually give yourself diabetes or cancer, or eczema, psoriasis, a migraine, or you'll put yourself into what we call depression, which there is no such thing because you beat yourself up so bad, you overheated your computer, which is called your brain. I want you to connect to your lion heart breath and just breathe in six seconds, seven seconds out. And I want you to tell yourself that you're the most beautiful thing that God ever created. I do. And I don't really care if you don't like it. I don't really care if you don't believe, if you believe that I'm something ugly. It really doesn't matter. I understand the game now. It's called unconditional love. I'm never putting myself off the hook, so I don't have to come off the hook. So, yeah, I'm not ever going to have to give you forgiveness because understand something. If you believe in that BS, Okay, if you believe in rules for fools, okay, there's only there's only one law, 
one rule, one commandment, call it whatever you want, unconditional love. Yeah, yeah. For most of you, if I said to you, just sit down and picture that which you believe is God. And uh, right away, the image would come up probably as an old man with a beard. I don't know. Or someone judging you or someone just not really great. Well, wh why did we humanize the most powerful entity energy that created the whole universe? I don't really know why we did that. I don't know why. And then, and then we even dumbed it down to the point that, you know, it's created a place called hell for us. That, that of course, Dr. Wolf is going to go or Daryl or the quack, whatever you want to call me. The biggest relief I ever got is not caring about what you think about me, but caring about what you think about yourself. That's why I'm here. Man, the last time that you gifted someone, because you were in a good mood, you know, maybe you, maybe you told the uh, grocery teller on your way out, have a beautiful day. I love you. Wow, that would shock the heck out of them. And don't even look back. Don't even look back. Just see if you can leave smiles every place you go so that it's easy to find you. So it's easy to find yourself. You're going to lose yourself. If you go by the systems that the majority do, <clears throat> you will have limited potential. You'll shut off your energy and you will suffer and become sick because you, you have sick thoughts, you have sick programs, and you will die not completing the mission. And what is the mission? The mission is for you to be selfish enough to go back and dust off your passion, your purpose, and gift the whole world. I mean, that's orgasmic, you know? When I do my whole life coach certifications, I give everything my day off until now I was like flatlining right but I did my skin brushing I did my clapping I came out here I did my sun gazing I did my connecting to what I believe is my creator you know I never eat breakfast but I, I needed to ground myself so I had some organic oatmeal with some blueberries and then I did a blender drink Just walk around saying you love life. I love life. I love life. I will love, honor, and respect myself first and foremost before anyone else or anything else. So help me God from this moment on. I will make sure that I stand guard on my subconscious that's been programmed to kill me. And I will make sure I crack the coconut. And I will not focus on what I don't like about myself. I'll focus on what I love about myself. I won't focus on what's wrong with the world. I'll focus on what's right with the world and the world I want to live in. I'll make decisions that are based on me being selfish enough to know how to have the perfect day, the most beautiful day. And then I will create one day where I have just loved every second because you can only experience the moment, so you can only experience a second. And I will take that day, and then I will pre repeat that day every day. And then I will know that I will not react and attack myself or anybody else in the world ever again. I will not go to war, and I will not fight a disease. Because when you fight a disease, how do you fight a disease when all it was was a message from your body saying, for God's sakes, love me. Can you just love me? There's 50. There's 50 trillion cells here, 500 good bacteria that are screaming out to you to give us some love and respect and honor. So if you want to do that, you better become your own practitioner. And you better be making logical, conscious decisions. And understand, do not expect your family, and you're going to love them un unconditionally, to love you, to care for you, to believe in you. Because they're not. They're not. It's not their time. Oh, but they're family. They're family. I just suffer for them so much. You like out of your skull. You just shut off your energy. You are a closed energy system. Let me tell you, I've got a family. My younger brother just passed on a few months ago. And understand, the whole time he hated his life. 
I couldn't have a conversation without him ending it with the F-bomb on me. And I didn't have to do anything. Watch out the story that you're telling yourself and retell the story right now. Drop the story. You know what? I've got people in the class and they could not open their mouth unless, you know, like I have one beautiful lady in, in the class, the certification, and she's been doing it all week, okay? And yesterday she showed, and my mother, my mother when she died, and I went, stop, stop. You're not telling it. It's over. Close your eyes. Sit down. Think about all the beautiful things that your mother taught you, did for you. Think about the happy times you had. Think about the things you did for her. And allow your mother's spirit to move on to something else, to another level. And you're never going to move on to another level if you keep this low vibration and understand something. Go ahead. Be a closed energy system. You couldn't do enough parasite cleanses. You have to understand. Bad bacteria live in you because guess what? You have bad beliefs. Bad beliefs. Okay, you, and they turn into a bad diet, a bad personality. Right? You can't beat up on yourself and think you're, you're not gonna be low vibrational and have some bad bacteria or have a worm get, come into you. And understand something. Just know this, you do know that 99% of all worms, that they actually, you didn't eat them in your food, you actually grew them in your body. You need to think about that. 99% of all worms that grow in your body, you grew because of your low vibration. You worm you. And the fungus in you, yeah, yeah, most of it's caused from antibiotics and eating products with antibiotics in them, like animal products that uh, aren't free range and organic. But the reality is, is guess what? You'll become a fungus anyways when you have low vibration. See, like antibiotics, they, they vibrate below zero, right? So when they, they take yeast, turn it into fungus, that becomes a drill bit predator. That drills holes through your intestines. That's called autoimmune disease, leaky gut, but it's actually leaky, leaky large intestine. But you could actually get that without even taking an antibiotic because you're the antibiotic because you go in and you blow yourself up all the time because of your unworthiness. If your mother and father were unworthy, if your mother and father didn't know how to love themselves or each other, you're doing the same damn thing. So are you going to end the family curse and become the family blessing by rewriting the story? So, oh my God, Dr. Wolf, there's so much that I have to work on. My, If you just knew everything that went on in my life, my pa are you like out of your skull? You can go back there and you can reimagine it and ruin the present moment or you can just let it go because believe it or not, all of you religious freaks, there are religious freaks. Guess what? Do you actually think that which created the universe is judging us on our past when we came down to a planet that's ruled, schooled and fooled by people that are trying to kill us? I was in survival mode. I was in survival mode with just trying to survive my parents, for God's sakes. I was in survival mode when I was in my mother's womb. That was like a bloody tomb when I found out what it was like between my parents when she was pregnant. God loved them both too, because they didn't have the tools. They were told, here, here's a hammer, tighten the screw. And then they put the screw to me. They put, they put the screw to themselves. Mm, uh, my parents did absolutely the best that they could, but guess what, I'm awake. And I'm not a mistake. And you know what? We say we live, we live infinitely. Well, I'm going to tell you, stop bitching. Because guess what? I think this is the most exciting adventure. People are trying to kill me. They're, they're trying to kill me in my water, my food, my air. You know, people, they dislike what I have to say. But yeah, just take a look at yourself and ask yourself, what are you saying? And did you say anything that would hurt them or did you say something that might challenge them? Go in peace today. Don't go in pieces. And that means this, stand back, observe your beautiful family, your beautiful friends, your neighborhood, the world, and love it all because it's never gonna change. The only thing that's gonna change is you. This is the sixth extinction we're going to. And every extinction, 
all men and women did not die. Okay, they made up such bullshit stories. It's like this. Let me just say this. And I'm, I, I don't mean to swear. Maybe that's not a swear word anymore. I'm not even sure. But the reality is, remember when we were driving our cars and we ran out of gas? I think it was back in 1974. There was no gasoline anywhere. And you know what they said? That uh, all this gasoline came from dinosaurs. So it makes you, holy crap, we're going to run out. And little do you know, little do you know, it doesn't matter how many cars we have, we will never be able to use up all the petroleum because it's being made hundreds of thousands of gallons every day. The dinosaur, the dinosaur story was wrong. Don't you remember that just 10 years ago, they told us that we were going into an ice freeze and we were all going to freeze and nobody believed it because summer would come. But now they tell us that it'll be the hottest that it is and we're all going to get into trouble and we're going to die. Ah, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm never going to die. You know what? I'd rather live one day being me, okay, than live another 20, 30, 40 years being the majority. <laughs> you know what? And I'll tell you something. I'm never going to die, but when I leave, I'm not, don't grieve because I'm just moving on to another level of the game. I'm not going to ruin the game by talking down on you or talking down on me. I'm the only way that we can win this is to become our own energy medicine. That's it. That's it. I wish you the best Sunday ever, okay? I wish you all the love in the world. And uh, just know this, are you an open or are you a closed energy system? And you'll know, because you know what you believe? You believe that your beliefs are the only beliefs. You believe that your church is the only church. You believe, you believe in the science out there and it's all a bloody lie. You know what, you never learned anything that was the truth in school. Okay. I don't care how long you went to school. And the longer you went to school, a government approved school, the more you are a fool. Oh my God, he knows so much. Yeah, but is it worth it? I know people that don't know a lot and I'd rather hang around with them. Thank you very much. Because love is an ingredient, but self-love is the answer. You think about that.